Men don't love women like you. Welcome to Positive Vortex, the channel where we explore books that inspire, empower, and spark positive change in our lives. Today, we're diving deep into a candid and transformative journey through the pages of Men Don't Love Women Like You by G.L. Lambert. In a world where love and dating can sometimes feel like a complex puzzle, this book offers a refreshingly honest and unfiltered perspective on modern relationships. Join us as we unravel the valuable insights and wisdom within these pages, and discover how to navigate the world of love with confidence, self-worth, and empowerment. Whether you're seeking a better understanding of the male psyche, looking to redefine your relationships, or eager to regain control of your romantic destiny, you're in the right place. So, let's embark on this enlightening journey together. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with friends who may benefit from the wisdom found in Men Don't Love Women Like You by G.L. Lambert. Let's step into the positive vortex of transformative knowledge and inspiration. Introduction. In a world where dating and relationships can be riddled with confusion, Men Don't Love Women Like You by G.L. Lambert emerges as a guiding light, a frank and unapologetic guide to understanding the dynamics of modern love. In an age where conventional relationship advice often falls short, this book offers a refreshing and no-nonsense perspective on love, dating, and self-empowerment. The title alone, Men Don't Love Women Like You, might provoke a myriad of emotions and questions. It's a title that demands attention, challenges preconceptions, and signals that within these pages, you'll find a voice unafraid to dispel common myths about male behavior, empower women to take control of their love lives, and ultimately inspire them to forge authentic and fulfilling connections. The significance of Men Don't Love Women Like You lies in its ability to dismantle misconceptions and provide empowering revelations about dating, love, and personal growth. It's a critical addition to the self-help genre, as it empowers women to break free from harmful dating patterns, redefine their relationships, and ultimately regain control of their romantic destinies. As we venture through the chapters of this insightful book, we'll explore the author's expertise, the central theme of understanding male behavior, and how women can embrace self-worth to foster meaningful relationships. Join us in this transformative journey through Lambert's unfiltered perspective on modern love and dating. Writing Style G.L. Lambert's writing style is candid, humorous, and refreshingly direct. He fearlessly tackles the complexities of modern dating and relationships with unfiltered honesty. Lambert's language is both empowering and engaging, making the book an enjoyable yet transformative read. His insights are wrapped in witty anecdotes and a conversational tone, ensuring that readers feel as if they're having an insightful conversation with a close friend. Author's expertise and book significance. G.L. Lambert, a seasoned relationship coach and author, is known for his unapologetic approach to addressing the dynamics of modern dating and relationships. With a deep understanding of human psychology, Lambert offers unique perspectives on the way men think and act in the realm of love. Men Don't Love Women Like You is a significant addition to the self-help genre because it equips women with knowledge and strategies to break free from harmful dating patterns and embrace a more empowered, fulfilling romantic life. GHTFUL Conversation with a Close Friend Now let's provide a detailed chapter-by-chapter -chapter analysis for Men Don't Love Women Like You by G.L. Lambert. This chapter-by-chapter -chapter analysis delves deeper into the content of Men Don't Love Women Like You by G.L. Lambert, providing readers with a more in-depth understanding of the book's structure and the wealth of insights it offers. Chapter 1 The Brutal Truth About Dating In this opening chapter, G.L. Lambert sets the stage for an eye-opening exploration of modern dating. He discusses how conventional dating advice often misses the mark and challenges readers to question common misconceptions. Lambert prepares us to dive into the harsh realities of the dating world and explains the need for a no-nonsense approach. Chapter 2 How Men Operate Lambert delves deep into the male psyche in this chapter. He provides a comprehensive understanding of how men think and act in relationships. The chapter explores the emotional differences between men and women, shedding light on why men sometimes appear to behave mysteriously in the context of dating and love. Chapter 3 The Types of Men to Avoid this chapter takes an extended look at the various types of men who can be detrimental to women's emotional well-being. Lambert identifies and dissects patterns of behavior that women should watch out for. By recognizing these types, readers gain the knowledge to steer clear of potential heartbreak and damaging relationships. Chapter 4 Mastering the Dating Game In this pivotal chapter, Lambert offers practical advice on mastering the dating game. 
he discusses strategies for attracting the right kind of attention and setting clear relationship expectations. The extended content delves further into dating techniques and provides actionable steps for navigating the complexities of modern romance. Chapter 5 The Power of Self-Worth This chapter explores the significance of self-worth in detail. Lambert emphasizes the transformative power of self-worth and self-love, encouraging readers to prioritize their emotional well-being. The content includes practical exercises and tips for boosting self-worth and fostering self-love. Chapter 6 Setting Boundaries and Standards Setting boundaries and standards is crucial in any relationship. In this extended chapter, Lambert delves deep into the importance of personal boundaries and relationship standards. Readers learn not only why it's essential to define these boundaries but also how to communicate and enforce them effectively. Chapter 7 Breaking Free from Toxic Relationships Breaking free from toxic relationships is not always easy, but it's a critical step in prioritizing one's emotional well-being. Lambert guides readers through recognizing and ending toxic relationships, with additional content addressing the emotional challenges that may arise during this process. Chapter 8 Building Strong, Healthy Relationships In this comprehensive chapter, Lambert provides a roadmap for building strong, healthy relationships. He discusses the key elements of healthy connections, including effective communication, building intimacy, and establishing trust. Readers will find actionable advice and practical tips for nurturing healthy, meaningful relationships. Now let's provide some keynotes and key takeaways from Men Don't Love Women Like You by G.L. Lambert. These keynotes and key takeaways offer a more comprehensive understanding of the transformative insights provided in Men Don't Love Women Like You by G.L. Lambert. They equip readers with a deeper knowledge of the book's central themes and empower them to apply this wisdom to their own lives for more positive and empowered relationships. Understanding Male Behavior The book provides a comprehensive understanding of how men think and operate in relationships. It dispels common myths and misconceptions, offering readers a candid and insightful look into the male psyche. This deeper insight helps women better navigate the complexities of dating and relationships. Empowerment Through Self-Worth Men Don't Love Women Like You underscores the transformative power of self-worth and self-love. Lambert encourages readers to embrace their self-worth, fostering a deep sense of self-love and appreciation. This not only enhances self-confidence but also empowers women to make choices that align with their self-respect and emotional well-being. Setting Healthy Boundaries The extended content underscores the importance of defining and enforcing personal boundaries. It not only offers valuable insights into the significance of boundaries but also provides practical guidance on how to set and communicate them effectively. Recognizing that healthy boundaries are essential for building meaningful relationships, readers can use this knowledge to protect themselves from unhealthy dynamics. Recognizing toxic relationship patterns. By expanding on the concept of recognizing toxic relationship patterns, the book helps readers become more adept at identifying unhealthy dynamics. It provides additional examples and practical exercises to aid in recognizing patterns that may hinder emotional well-being. Armed with this knowledge, readers can take the necessary steps to free themselves from harmful relationships. Effective communication. Effective communication is a cornerstone of any healthy relationship. Lambert emphasizes the significance of open, honest, and transparent communication. By providing practical techniques and strategies for effective communication, the book equips readers with the tools to build connections based on trust and mutual understanding. Building strong, healthy relationships. The extended content in this key takeaway underscores the holistic approach to building strong, healthy relationships. It not only emphasizes the importance of effective communication but also provides practical guidance on nurturing intimacy and trust. By offering a more in-depth exploration of these elements, readers gain a comprehensive understanding of what it takes to establish and maintain meaningful, fulfilling relationships. Let's provide some recommendations and suggestions based on the book, Men Don't Love Women Like You, by G. L. Lambert. By embracing these extended recommendations and suggestions, you'll have a more profound understanding of how to apply the book's wisdom to your own life, leading to more positive, empowered, and fulfilling relationships. Embrace self-worth as a foundation, foster self-worth and self-love as the foundational pillars of your dating and relationship journey. Understand that your value doesn't decrease based on someone's inability to recognize your worth. This extended recommendation underscores the significance of self-worth in building a strong and positive relationship with yourself. 
Set and communicate boundaries effectively. In addition to defining personal boundaries, it's crucial to communicate them clearly and assertively. Share your boundaries with your partner and ensure that they respect and honor them. By expanding on the recommendation of setting boundaries, the book advises you to practice effective communication to articulate your boundaries, creating a strong foundation for a healthy relationship. Recognize toxic patterns early. Building on the idea of recognizing toxic patterns, it's essential to be vigilant and proactive in identifying harmful behaviors or dynamics. Pay attention to early warning signs and don't hesitate to address them. The extended recommendation provides specific examples and exercises to help you develop a keen sense for detecting and addressing toxicity in your relationships. Prioritize effective communication. Effective communication is the lifeblood of a healthy relationship. Expanding on this recommendation, the book provides actionable tips, techniques, and strategies to enhance your communication skills. It emphasizes the importance of listening actively, expressing your thoughts and feelings openly, and creating an environment of mutual respect and understanding. Nurture intimacy and trust. Building strong, healthy relationships involves nurturing intimacy and trust. In addition to emphasizing these elements, the book offers a more comprehensive look at intimacy building exercises and strategies for establishing trust. It highlights the significance of creating emotional connections and fostering trust through open and transparent communication. Embrace a growth mindset. Develop a growth mindset when it comes to relationships. Understand that personal and relationship growth is a continuous process. Be open to learning from experiences, evolving, and adapting to new insights. The extended recommendation highlights the power of embracing change and growth, ultimately helping you build more positive and fulfilling relationships. Cultivate a supportive network. Surround yourself with a supportive network of friends and loved ones who champion your emotional well-being and provide encouragement. Share your experiences, thoughts, and feelings with this network to gain valuable perspectives and emotional support. By expanding on the recommendation of building a supportive network, the book underscores the role of your circle in your overall emotional health and relationship success. Stay true to your authentic self. Above all, stay true to your authentic self. Never compromise your values, goals, or sense of self-worth for the sake of a relationship. Remember that you can't fix the wrong person, and the right person will come into your life when the time is right. The extended recommendation further highlights the importance of embracing your authenticity and being unapologetically yourself in all your relationships. Continue learning and growing. Recognize that personal and relationship growth is an ongoing journey. Be committed to learning and evolving, and never stop investing in your personal development. This extended recommendation encourages you to seek out self-improvement resources, engage in personal growth activities, and continuously enhance your understanding of relationships. Seek professional help if needed. In cases where you encounter particularly challenging relationship issues, consider seeking professional help from therapists or relationship experts. They can provide valuable insights and strategies to navigate complex situations and facilitate personal and relationship growth. The extended recommendation emphasizes the importance of seeking professional guidance when necessary to ensure emotional well-being and relationship success. Now let's provide few notable quotes and insights from Men Don't Love Women Like You by G.L. Lambert. These extended notable quotes and insights from Men Don't Love Women Like You by G.L. Lambert offer a more profound understanding of the book's wisdom and how it can be applied to your life. They challenge you to embrace self-worth, personal growth, and authenticity as the cornerstones of positive relationships and a fulfilling existence. 1. Your value doesn't decrease based on someone's inability to see your worth. This profound insight reminds us that our self-worth is inherent and unchanging, regardless of how others perceive us. The extended quote underscores the significance of valuing ourselves and not seeking validation from external sources. It encourages self-empowerment and self-love as the foundation for positive relationships and a fulfilling life. 2. You can't fix the wrong person. You can't fix the right person. All you can do is be a better you, and the right person will appear when the time is right. This insightful quote extends its message of self-improvement and authenticity. It underlines that the path to a healthy relationship begins with personal growth and being true to yourself. By investing in your own development, you attract the right person who appreciates and complements your authentic self. 3. Life's most valuable lessons are usually learned at the worst times and from the worst mistakes. 
Expanding on this quote, we recognize that challenges and mistakes are opportunities for growth and learning. The extended insight emphasizes that setbacks and difficult moments often serve as powerful teachers, helping us evolve and make better choices in the future. It underscores the importance of resilience and the capacity to turn adversity into wisdom. 4. Love isn't about finding the perfect person, it's about seeing an imperfect person perfectly. This quote underscores that love is not about seeking flawless partners but about appreciating and cherishing their imperfections. The extended insight highlights the beauty of embracing the uniqueness and flaws of your partner, creating a deeper and more meaningful connection based on acceptance and understanding. 5. In any relationship, you have to be yourself, not losing your identity, but blending it with someone else's. The extended quote emphasizes the importance of maintaining your identity while also merging it with your partner's. It encourages individuality and authenticity within a relationship, demonstrating that personal growth and self-expression can coexist with shared love and connection. 6. Your past is your lesson. Your present is your gift. Your future is your motivation. Expanding on this quote, it emphasizes that your past experiences provide valuable lessons that inform your present decisions. The extended insight underlines that the present moment is a gift, a chance to apply those lessons and create a better future. It inspires the idea that personal growth is a continuous journey fueled by the desire for a brighter tomorrow. As we conclude this transformative journey through Men Don't Love Women Like You by G.L. Lambert, it's vital to reflect on the profound wisdom and empowerment this book has to offer. The book isn't just a guide to modern dating and relationships, it's a call to action, encouraging women to seize control of their love lives, enhance their self-worth, and ultimately create more meaningful and empowering connections. At its core, the book challenges conventional relationship advice, pushing us to question stereotypes and cliches that may hinder our emotional well-being. It inspires a fresh perspective on love, one that champions authenticity, self-worth, and empowerment. The central theme of understanding male behavior takes a prominent role in the book's narrative. By revealing the unfiltered truth about how men think and act in relationships, Lambert provides women with invaluable insights, enabling them to navigate the complexities of dating with clarity and confidence. Understanding these differences between men and women isn't about making judgments, it's about fostering a deeper comprehension of one another. The importance of self-worth is a recurrent theme that permeates every page. Lambert unapologetically underscores the transformative power of self-worth and self-love. He champions the idea that self-worth is the cornerstone of positive relationships. By embracing self-worth, readers can make choices that align with their self-respect, enabling them to attract the right partners and navigate relationships with a sense of empowerment. Setting healthy boundaries, as Lambert advises, is another critical theme within the book. This process isn't about erecting walls but about creating a safe space for oneself within a relationship. It's about setting the standards for how you want to be treated and conveying those standards with clarity. By doing so, you create the conditions for respectful and fulfilling connections. Recognizing toxic relationship patterns serves as a stark reminder that we should be vigilant in identifying harmful behaviors and dynamics. It's about knowing when to walk away from situations that don't serve your emotional well-being. In doing so, you free yourself from toxic influences and open the door to healthier, more positive relationships. Effective communication, as we've explored, is the lifeblood of any healthy relationship. Lambert emphasizes the importance of honest and open conversations. He encourages us to listen actively, express our thoughts and feelings authentically, and cultivate an environment of mutual respect and understanding. The holistic recommendation of nurturing intimacy and trust underscores the profound importance of creating emotional connections and building trust through transparent and open communication. These elements are the building blocks of strong, healthy relationships. Throughout the book, Lambert champions a growth mindset, a philosophy that embraces personal and relationship growth as an ongoing journey. He encourages us to learn from our experiences, to adapt, and to continuously invest in our personal development. This perspective positions us to face challenges as opportunities for growth and to evolve into better, wiser versions of ourselves. As we reach the end of this conclusion, let's remember that the insights within, men don't love women like you, aren't just words on pages but tools for positive change in our lives. By embracing these concepts and applying them, 
we can take control of our romantic destinies, nurture self-worth, and build relationships based on authenticity and empowerment. The journey doesn't end here. It's a continuum of personal growth and the pursuit of fulfilling, lasting relationships. The book reminds us that love is about embracing imperfections, nurturing self-worth, and standing true to our authentic selves. It teaches us that our past is a valuable lesson, our present is a gift, and our future is our motivation. Let this transformative journey through, men don't love women like you, be the catalyst for your own growth and empowerment. Remember that you deserve love and respect, and your journey to a happier, healthier, and more fulfilling love life begins with self-love and self-worth. As you step out of the world of this remarkable narrative, carry with you the profound wisdom and inspiration it offers. Embrace these enduring lessons, apply them to your daily life, and share the light of empowerment and self-worth with others. In doing so, you contribute to a world where love is based on authenticity, respect, and mutual growth. Thank you for joining us on this transformative journey. We look forward to sharing more wisdom and inspiration with you in the future. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content, and share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section. Together, we can create positive change in our relationships and in our lives.